Okay, we are on scene. Engine 1 is on scene. It looks like we have a two-story uh, wood frame construction with heavy fire and smoke showing. Uh, go and start me another one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Liberty County video. We're back with another banger video for you guys in ERLC. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and use star code Ruffles when you're buying uh, Robux or Premium to help support me on the channel. And also, check out uh, Drew's Candy Factory in the description below. Go check it out. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, then you should probably go look at it. But, we're back here in ERLC, and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get any content out for you guys this weekend. This past weekend, I had a couple things with work that I ran into and wasn't able to get any content out. But, we're back at it with a new week today, and we are on the fire department with their new fire and hose system. So, this past weekend, they had a pretty good update, uh, updating their fire... Uh, fire department and EMS stuff, so I'm um, super excited to make a role play on this for you guys But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started So uh, actually as I was woken up this morning, uh, it was a beautiful day You know the sunrise was very beautiful and uh, was amazing, but oh wait a minute. I think we got a uh, We got a we got a call hang on one second. Let's go and get our turnout gear. We'll check up on our way Everybody we got a call immediately. He, we have a structure fire on Franklin Court medical one and two engine one and rescue one respond all right, so we're actually a part of Engine 1, everybody. So let's go ahead and get this going here. We're going to get our full turnout gear, and we're going to go ahead and get in our engine really quickly. And I think this one's mine. There we go. Let's do this, everybody. Here we go, everyone. And we are... Oh, that I'm stealing this guy's bay door. And we're heading to this scene. It sends on Franklin Court. I do believe that that's uh, in the housing suburbs over here. So let's check this out. We are on our way to this call... And let's see what this is all about. We have a uh, big alarm response on this, actually, surprisingly. Um, so it seems there is some type of uh, structure fire that we are responding to. So they usually do an all call on this. Um, we have a couple of medics on the scene here. And then, of course, we have our incident commander that's also here as well, coming up here on scene. All right, so we're heading over here. Um, we're pulling into the housing suburbs. Hopefully, we're getting on scene here pretty soon. Uh, making our way over here. And I believe it's down here towards the housing suburbs. All right, there we go. Excuse me, I'm just going to go and pass this guy real quick. Oh, he hit that mailbox. Hopefully insurance covers that. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, we are on scene. Engine 1 is on scene. It looks like we have a two-story uh, wood frame construction with heavy fire and smoke showing. Uh, go and start me another ambulance. And uh, we're going to go ahead and be uh, investigating here. Um... Oh my gosh, we do have, uh, this is insane. This is unbelievable. So we're going to get some hose lines. Oh, whoops, I accidentally hit the wrong button. But uh, let's get some attack lines going here. And let's see what this is all about. What's going on? Is there anybody inside? Do you know? Get the rescue team. Uh, see if there's anyone inside up on the second store. We're going to go and start a quick exterior attack. And then we're going to go and see if there's anyone, anyone inside. I do believe there might be because there's a car here. And I'm not sure who called it in. But let's see what's going on here. All right, you can go ahead and start a quick exterior attack, see if we can get anybody on here. And everybody, I'm the captain of Engine 1 today, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick uh, 360 around this building and see if we can see anybody that's hanging on the outside, if there's anything. So it looks like there's heavy, heavy flames all around. I think we do have one individual inside the kitchen on the C side, um, back here behind the building. We have no smoke on the B side, or I'm sorry, on the D side over here. Okay, there we go. We're going to grab this hose line real quick. And we're going to go ahead, whoops, I accidentally disregarded it. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right. Um, that's okay. I think we need another one over here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We're going to go and see if we can get a, this is the uh, rapid intervention team, everybody. If you don't know what that is, basically, they're a group of specially trained firefighters just on standby in case any of our firefighters get harm inside of the building. So we're going to go and just slowly start putting out the exterior flames here just to kind of see what we got going on. I do believe if you guys can go ahead and get two ladders and extend them up to the second story window, we can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and see if uh, anyone's inside. We'll do a quick search and rescue up there. They're getting those ladders deployed. Very, very cool that we got going on here. And uh, they're going to see. I wonder, I think that second story window is actually busted out. Um, so make sure to keep an eye on that. But we are getting a pretty good attack on this. If you guys... Uh, Firefighters, if you want to head over to the uh, left side over there and go ahead and start some ventilation through that window, uh, that would be very cool. Do we have anything up here? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and climb these ladders real quick. See if we got anybody. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's people inside of here. Yo, get the medics. We need people now. Grab the ladders. Grab the ladders in the backboard. We have three individuals inside stuck inside of the building. Yo, we need help now. Okay. Go in. Let's get the rescue team. They're going to go ahead and get help over here. We're going to continue to... I'm actually going to go ahead and take a hose line. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting the wrong button, everybody. I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I think we got PD on here uh, as well to go ahead and get some traffic control. Looks like they are setting up a good scene over here. All right, we do have one individual out. Go ahead and get him to the medic. Let's see if we can get another one out of there. I think there were three of them that we actually have to take care of. Entry team, go ahead and force entry through the front door and go ahead and do a uh, offensive attack from the inside now. Um, go ahead and head through there. There we go. We're going to see if we can continue to just put out some of these exterior flames here that are still showing on the building. Um, smoke conditions are not improving at this moment. We do have heavy black smoke. Very, very turbulent and mean looking smoke for sure. But uh, is there anybody inside here? I'm going to go and drop this out. Drop this fire hose here real quick. I'm going to go and take a peek up through that window again. We do have two more individuals inside of here. We got to get you guys out of here. Uh, firefighters, head down and grab the backboard. See if we can get these guys out of here. We have uh, heavy smoke. The smoke inhalation is very, very dangerous, everybody. So we're making sure that these guys get out of here as quick as possible. All right, get them on this backboard here. See if we can get them on there and go and take them outside. There we go, everybody. But we're heading back down these ladders. We're going to continue. I'm actually going to go ahead and begin to make entry into the building. See if we can go ahead and get this going here. But I do believe that we actually just put that fire out and we did get them over there. So, uh... Magically, our, our, our uh, stuff disappeared, but we're going to go and get some fans, and we're actually going to go and put them inside of the building there, and uh, we're going to go and make re-entry into this house here, and uh, then go and do overhaul. I do believe that we can uh, get this going, but is everyone okay? I think we have everybody outside of the building that actually uh, needed to get in outside here, so there we go. We're just going to continue to spray down these burning embers that are continually burning inside of the city's walls here. And this vehicle was on fire. I do believe so as well. This vehicle was on fire. Um, so we're going to make sure we're going to take care of that fire. Go ahead and uh, get DOT. See if we can get a tow truck over here as well. I'm going to go give an update to the incident commander over here. Sir, uh, we have... Uh, I think as of now, the fire is under control. Uh, dispatch also said five minutes since the original call. Uh, we have all the individuals out. We do have a search and rescue team still inside utilizing a search to see if there's any other uh, vehicles. We are working on overhaul. Um, you can go until dispatch. The fire is now knocked down and under control. So uh, we do uh, have the the tanker system. I'm sorry, not the tanker. The, uh, the uh, rapid intervention crew went ahead and hooked up to a couple of fire hydrants, and we do have a constant water supply. Um, we started with an exterior attack, and now we do have a couple of entry teams inside knocking down the fire as well. But they are on the roof making ventilation. Um, to go and get the smoke out of here, and we do have multiple generators, uh, outside the windows, trying to get all this smoke out of here, but, uh, we are gonna go ahead and begin overhaul, and there we go. Thank you, Captain. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my overhaul tools, everybody, and for anybody that isn't, uh, isn't aware of this, I recently started fire school, now, I'm only on, like, week four of fire school, so I don't know too much about it, but I do know, uh, a lot of the basics now, and, uh, about ventilation and attack teams and everything, but, um, very cool, everybody, actually... Just a quick side note, tomorrow, um, in real life, this is a real thing, I actually am in the, my local fire academy in my county, we're heading over to our county hazmat center, and we're actually uh, doing hazmat operations, uh, which is very cool, so wish me luck in the comments below everybody, I'm excited for that, but uh, we're going to get our pike pole and everything, and we're going to start overhaul with all of this good stuff, and if you guys do want to know some more information about the fire service and more uh, firefighter operations, let me know because I'll definitely make some more videos that are in depth of uh, actual fire operations to make sure that we uh, make sure that you guys learn some cool stuff. So, we are continuing to get overhaul. Looks like we do have most of the burning embers um, actually outside uh, in extinguished at this, at, this, uh, at this moment. So, I do believe that we're making good knockdown on this fire here. We're just going to go and keep taking off these wood tiles off of the roof to make sure that we got all this stuff out of here. And uh, there we go. I do believe that that was a successful knockdown. Very, very cool. And also, everybody, this new uh, this new hose system is very cool with the uh, with the new update that ERC recently just dropped, which is very awesome. But we're gonna go talk to the medics and see if everything's doing okay over there. I do believe that they have a medical tent that was actually set up. Uh, very cool, everybody. You guys doing okay? 
Uh, oh my gosh, this lady's got blood on her. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of victims in here. Um, oh my gosh, you guys better uh, might want to take that under control. But there we go. And then, as always, thank you to our wonderful police officers that are helping with traffic control over here. Look at this beautiful man. Look at this beautiful man. And we're going to go and call the fire investigators and make sure that they go ahead and uh, investigate the cause of this fire here. But anyways, everyone, that's going to do for today's video. Thank you to our amazing engine teams. We have uh, Medic 1 and 2. We have our tanker engine along with Rescue and Engine 1 over here. Very, very cool and awesome work by all of the firefighters here. If you guys do want to join the recording crew and help participate in these uh, role plays, it is also in the description below. But without further ado, everyone, that's going to do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and patience while I'm working in Fire Academy. And I'm not allowed to get a lot of videos out for you guys because I don't have the time. But I'm doing my hardest to get a bunch of stuff out for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Raffles Official, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.